Hi everyone, welcome to the visual guide for Emanation. This is the second trial made available in Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Lotus band together to defeat this really beautiful encounter. My name is Ms. Tech and I'll be your primal guide. Tanks can initiate the fight by each grabbing one of the adds. Watch out for their gaze attacks and avoid them as necessary. Lakshmi will cast Stotrim, dealing raid-wide damage that should be healed through. Vril bubbles will also cover the platform throughout the encounter. Each player will have a duty action button that uses Vril as a resource. Running into a bubble will replenish Vril, allowing you to use the duty action button. This action will bubble your character, allowing you to negate certain mechanics. When Lakshmi casts Hand of Grace, two players will be targeted by these beautiful markers and cast out column AoEs in a cross pattern from where they're standing. These affected players should spread apart from each other so that they're not overlapping, but then stop moving so that everyone else knows where the safe zones will be and can adjust accordingly. The Pull of Light is a moderate tank buster and should be cooled down and healed through as necessary. When Lakshmi casts Hand of Beauty, two players will be targeted by the same markers, but instead will cast out circle AoEs that will eventually leave behind puddles. These players should move away and drop the puddles away from the group. Dropping them near each other can also help minimize the affected area of the platform. As the fight progresses, players will need to be ready to handle both Hand of Beauty and Hand of Grace, sometimes even at the same time. Eventually, Lakshmi will seduce all players and attempt to place this in her bosom. As much as we would want this to happen, this is her ultimate and players will need to use their duty action button to survive the attack. Remember, if you don't have the Vril to use the button, run into a bubble first to replenish your Vril. After the ultimate, Lakshmi can move to the center and cast Divine Denial, knocking back and instantly killing any player that doesn't use their duty action button. You'll still be knocked back a tiny bit with the duty action activated, so be careful not to stand too close to the edge of the platform. In this phase, the puddles left behind by Hand of Beauty will grow and players should take care not to get caught in the AoE or they will suffer a bleed debuff. The off tank will also be marked with this blue marker and Path of Light will be cast in their direction. This is a heavy hitting, very large frontal cone and the off tank should position themselves in such a way as to not cleave the entire group group. The Pall of Light is a stack up marker on a player. Players unaffected by either hand attack should be ready to stand in and share this damage. Alluring Arm is essentially Hand of Beauty and Hand of Grace casting at the same time. Players will need to handle each AoE appropriately. At this point, all of the mechanics will repeat and it's a simple matter of handling each in turn. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Up next, we'll take a look at Castrum Abania. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time.